What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you 10 different types of low and no content books that you could be publishing on KDP. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is put together 10 examples of low and no content books. And what we're going to do is just go through these examples. We're going to go over to Amazon, take a look, and then I'm just going to share with you and show you each individual type of book. Now, right here, you can see a bunch of different low and no content books. There's actually 10 just here but there is a lot more than this and every one here composition books notebooks dot grid journals coloring books all these different types of book types have so many different types of niches all within them now if you want to understand a little bit more about niches and how to find them within all these different types of books then click right there right now in the right hand corner because I'll link a previous video which we recently made all about finding niches anyway let's crack on and go through some of these types so what do we have now again these are all no and low content books we have journals log books planners coloring books, dot grid journals, activity books, blank recipe books, notebooks, composition notebooks, sketchbooks. And like I said, within all of these just here, there's so many niches. Now let's just go over to Amazon because we're going to start looking through these just so I can show you some examples. Now the first one that I have pulled up is a journal. Now journals are very similar to notebooks. We have notebooks just here, which we're going to go through in a minute, but journals and notebooks are very, very similar. Now, nine times out of 10, a notebook is just lined paper. That's this one just here. And with journals, they're a little bit more specific. So you can get things like pregnancy journals. So that have prompts in those journals as well making it more like a guided journal. Now, if we go over to here, let's take a little look. Now I've got journal in the search bar. If we just do this, just give that a second, sorry about the slowness. But if we do this, we can now take a look at other search results. So right here, this is an extension called Am Suggestion Expander. It pulls up all the keywords before, after, and all the normal ones just here. But right here, Right off the bat, we can see so many different types of journals. We have a journal for women, for men, journal in Bible. Um, let's take a look, pregnancy, like I said, pregnancy journal. So let's take a look at this, the pregnancy journal, just so you can see what these types of books are like, and then we'll move on to the others. There we go. That's loaded. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see all these different types of pregnancy journals. Now, remember, a pregnancy journal is just one of thousands of different types of journals that you can create. But some of these journals are really, really nice on the inside, the interior. Now, let's just give that a second again because it's going pretty slow. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see some really nice ones here. First time mum's pregnancy journal. So things like this, a pregnancy journal is something that you'd want to create once you have a little bit more experience. So if we just find one of these that we can take a look at just here. So pregnancy planner, planners being another one that we are actually going to take a look at, but this is practically a journal as well. Now, if we take a look on the inside, you can see what these books kind of look like so let's just give that a second as well so that look inside feature can appear so let's just click on here click there bam so if we scroll down so this has changed a little bit how do we do this there we go now if we scroll down we can see this planner belongs to and we can see this is a really nice interior. Now interiors like this you can actually get from Creative Fabrica, but something like this would be journal as well. But that's what that looks like. And remember, 
journal, there's actually thousands of niches within the journal niche. So that's one that we were going to take a look at. The second is just a notebook. So a notebook, like I said, tends to be just lined paper. That's literally all. You could customise it if you were doing niche specific notebooks. Like if you were doing a dog notebook, you could have dog graphics within the actual notebook just to provide a little bit more quality. Now with all of these niches that I am going to share, especially like with the journal and the notebook niche, you always want to niche down. So you never want to create just a notebook, a generic notebook, because not many people are going to buy that. You want to niche down into hobbies, um, job titles, foods, animals, sports, and things like that. Again, watch the previous video which I recently created. Now, if we scroll through here, I typed in funny notebook just to be more specific because some of these funny notebooks actually do really, really well. So if we scroll down, we can see just here things I want to say at work but can't. And if we look here, that has a 27,000 BSR. So this is selling really, really well. Now, if we take a look and go through to the actual notebook, and look inside, you'll see that it's just lined paper. So books like these, because they're so easy to create, you're going to get so much more competition. Remember, the easier it is to create a book, the more competition there will be. How hard is it to create a notebook like this with a funny saying on the front and then just have lined paper like this on the inside. How easy is that? Well, relatively easy. So trying to do books like this, you're going to get so much more competition, but you can see that these types of books sell and they sell really well. So I can't understand when people try and tell me that no content doesn't work because clearly it does, as we can see from ours just here. But that's the second one with the example, just aligned funny notebook. Now the third one being composition notebook. So this is very very similar to a standard notebook apart from these are usually used for school, college or anything academic, things like that. Now the inside relatively easy again just lined paper. So if we just take one of these let's take a little look so right here, that looks good, but that BSR is actually pretty good as well. Look at that for a book like that. So let's just keep scrolling through and let's go to this one. So this sells really, really well. Now composition books tend to sell really well. With these, again, you really, really want to niche down again into hobbies, sports or anything like that. Now from here, we can see the cover looks really good. It's just a seamless pattern. These are actually relatively easy to create as well. If you want to know exactly how to create these, I did make a video a while back. I'll try and link that as well, right there in the right hand corner. I highly suggest going through and watching that video because you'll be able to make books like this. Now, if we look on the inside of this, let's scroll down. We can see again, just lined paper. But it's a certain diff no, it's a certain type of lined paper, composition notebooks. Now there are other style composition notebooks, such as kindergarten composition notebooks as well. So them are completely different because normally you have a space just here for drawing. But if you want, you can go through and check them out. But how easy is it to create a book like this? Lined paper with just a really nice cover, and these covers are really easy to create. So that's the third one, composition notebooks. The fourth one is a dot grid journal. Now with dot grid journals, you may never heard of that, but a dot grid journal is the same as a bullet journal. Now the only difference is bullet journal is trademarked and dot grid journal is not. So if you want to create some dot grid journals, remember not to use a bullet journal. Now if we take a look here, this cover's really easy to create. It looks like they've just got a graphic and then put notes on the front. So how easy is it to create a book like that? Fairly easy. We can see it actually has a really great BSR. Now, if we go ahead through to this product and actually take a look on the interior, 
you can see just how easy it would be. Now, interiors like this, notebooks, composition notebooks, standard no content books, you can actually find these interiors everywhere now. You can find them on Creative Fabrica, you can find them on Book Bolt, you can find them in Tangent Templates. Getting these interiors is really, really easy now compared to when I first started. Now, if we take a look, as we can see, quite a nice cover, just got notes on it, nothing special, not a lot of design skills went into making this, but it sells. Now, if we take a look on the interior, we can see it's that dot grid style because it's a dot grid journal. And again, because this is such a basic interior, you can find these everywhere, especially tangent templates. But again, remember, the easier it is to create a book, the more competition there will be. So for dot grid journals, it's really easy to create these books. So there's going to be a lot of competition. Now, the fifth one I want to share with you is a blank recipe cookbook. These do pretty well. Now, what is a blank recipe cookbook? Well, it's a book for you to actually write your own recipes in. So you need room for the ingredients, the cooking time, what type of meal it is, and all things like that. But these tend to do really well, and you can charge a little bit more. So if we look here, look at this. This one's $9.36, this one's $7.99. They are running ads. So let's actually scroll down a little bit further, and let's investigate one of these so you can see what the interior looks like. So let's just choose one. Wow, look at that, $19.99. It is spiral, that's not a KDP book. Now let's take a look maybe at this one. So we can see the inside, so you can see what the interior actually looks like. And then I have another five um, book types that we're going to cover. So make sure you stick around. Now let's just give a second for that look inside feature. There we go. Now if we click on this, let it do its thing, and then scroll down, there it says My Recipes, and then right here they've got a little index. So right here, this would be page number 30, and on page 30 you could have a chicken curry. So you'd put chicken curry here, and then you'd know that that recipe is on page 30. So remember that as well. Now if we scroll down, we can see recipe number, a room for the actual meal, then the servings, the prep time, the cook time, ingredients, direction, and notes. So again, something like this you can actually go and get on Creative Fabrica, but designing something like this in Canva is actually relatively easy. And because it's easy, I highly recommend you doing that, because that way your interior isn't going to be the same as everyone else's. So that's the fifth one that I wanted to share with you, Blank Recipe Cookbook. Now, I know the video's already gone on for quite some time, already over 13 minutes, but stay with me because we have another five to check out. So the sixth one being a logbook. Now with a logbook, there's so many different types of niches and they're relatively easy to create. Now, if we do this, we can see some of these niches. Truckers for business. Um, more truckers, small business. Mileage logbook, inventory logbook, workout logbook, blood sugar logbook. There's so many different types. Now, if we take a look at these, in fact, let's do a logbook. What type of logbook? Let's do a logbook for. Let's try visitors. So, visitors. So, visitor logbook for business. So, if we take a look at one of these, and have a look on the inside of the interior. Usually, it's just a bunch of lines with somewhere for someone to put their name and all that stuff. So if we scroll through, let's just try and find a KDP one so we can take a look. Just give that a second. There we go. So right down here should be one which we can check out. So in fact, let's just do it for this one so we don't spend too much time trying to find one. So let's take a look on the inside so you can see just how easy it would to actually create a book like this. Now again, let's just give that a second to load up. There we go. So let's take a look at this. We'll click on there. 
take a look on the inside so you can see just how easy these types of books are. So there we go, that's loading up, do its thing. Let's scroll down a little bit. So right here we have a place for the name and phone number and then right here you can see really really easy this is just a thingy-majig a thingy-majig I can't remember the word but you can see relatively easy to create we have room for date name reason for visit time in time out and signature and like this would be the same throughout the whole book so you'd create one page like this and then just duplicate it but again logbooks are fairly easy to create and there's so many different types now i think i did a logbook research video a while back if i did i'll link it right there in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch that just so you can get an idea for how many niches there actually are anyway that's the six i think we're on to number seven now if i believe and then that one is actually planners so again planners little bit harder to create but remember the easier it is to create a book the more competition there's going to be so with planners if you can put in the time to create a really good one you could see some really great results and again with planners there's so many different types of niches if we just take a look in the search bar let's do that we have four men um, wedding planner, daily planner, happy planner, budget planner and these are just to name a few there's so many different types now a really great way to actually create some type of planner is using tangent templates because they have that feature in there or you could use something which is relatively easy like me I like to use Canva for creating everything now if we take a look through these we can take a look at some of these sellers now from personal experience I found with planners that anything floral tends to sell better so please remember that as well now if we scroll through let's just try and find one which we can take a look at let's do if we can find one these are all binders so let's do a planner for Actually, let's just do a daily planner. But right here, we can see more niche ideas. Teachers, business owner, these are all different types of planners that you can create. So let's do this. Let's just do a daily planner. So daily planner, let's click search. And then I'll show you the inside of one of these books. So let's scroll through see if we can just find a KDP one really really quick in fact there's no need because we can see just here so let's click on this so I know this isn't a KDP book but looking at things like this will give you ideas on how you can create an interior for a planner again all these are actually relatively easy to create so you could create a planner like this where you have boxes room for to do's notes the dates and all of that this would actually be relatively easy to create within canva or within tangent templates so that's the is that the seventh so that's planners now the eighth i believe in fact i can't even remember where we are now so anyway the next one is coloring books coloring books coloring books now with coloring books there's so many different types of niches like crazy amounts of niches for coloring books it's good for animals pets sports job titles food anything like that people are probably searching for a coloring book now if you want to start creating coloring books go and check out our new course called simple coloring books this will teach you step by step everything i know on how to create coloring books fast easy and that actually look really good so be sure to check that out if you want to check it out there is a link down in the description below but coloring books can be relatively easy to create depending on the demographic that you're actually creating the book for so for kids coloring books most of them are pretty pretty simple and are not that hard to create now if we take a look at some of these these are really professionally designed so again you shouldn't really start creating nope uh, nope sorry you shouldn't really start creating coloring books 
until you've got the skills. Now, there are some really great ways that you can create good quality coloring books without having the skills, but I highly recommend just creating notebooks, journals, things like that, so you can get an understanding of KDP first before you start creating coloring books. Now, I'm not going to go through some of these coloring books because every single one's different, but again, I'll try and link a coloring book video right there in the right hand corner, all about niches, so you can go through and watch that. But that was another one that I wanted to share with you. And another one after this is activity books. So again, I don't actually have many activity books. I don't really enjoy creating them. I only enjoy creating books that I like to enjoy. No, that came out wrong. I only create books that I like creating, if you know what I mean. I don't actually have that fun creating activity books, so I don't create that many. But with these, again, there's so many different types of niches, so many different types of activity books. Once you start doing the research, you can come across some really, really great niches. And if we look here on this first page, we can see that they sell really well. Look at these BSRs, all under 5 thousand so that's another one that you should really go and check out activity books and now the last one so this must be the tenth is sketchbooks so sketchbooks are actually relatively easy to create again remember the easier it is to create a book the more competition there's going to be now a sketchbook is just blank pages well almost blank you can't actually have i believe more than two or three consecutive blank pages in a KDP book. So you can't just have those blank pages. Now to get around that, you can just have numbers on the page or a little border around the edge. Now, sketchbooks tend to do really well. If you go and research, you will see that. Now from here, we can see this is just a standard kind of sketchbook, nothing special, just a little wallpaper here with sketchbook on it. But if we go through and take a look at the interior, you're going to see just how easy it is to create. Now, I don't believe this is a KDP book. It might be. It's just the hardcover threw me off a little bit, but I do know that the hardcovers are slowly being rolled out as a lot of people have beta testing this right now. I'd love to get that feature too. Now, if we take a look here, let's do this and actually scroll down. We can see they have that first page. Then on the inside, we can see what they've done. They've put this at the bottom so that their book can go through. Now, remember, if this wasn't here and this was completely blank, you wouldn't be able to publish that. You need something on each page. For this instance, they've got this. You could have a number down here or a border around the outside. But how easy is it to create something like this? Relatively easy. So remember, again, the easier it is to create a book, the more competition there will be. Now, that's all the books that I wanted to cover. So we actually covered, if we go back for a second, we covered journals, logbooks, planners, coloring books, dot grids, activity books, blank recipe cookbooks, notebooks, composition books, and sketchbooks. And remember, this is not even all the types of books out there. There's a lot more than this, and there's a million different niches all within these different book types. So go ahead, go through, start researching, and see what types of books you want to create. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.